Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Mumford Family Living. So today I wanted to take you and kind of show you when I'm filling up this washer, uh, you've seen some of our previous videos where I've used rainwater. I didn't fully explain how we filled this up and how we knew where to fill it up to and all that. Um, I actually have done this on this model, which to my understanding, most top load washers are this way, but front loaders you're not going to be able to do this with. But <clears throat> The way these work, I'll turn this little light on here, is this tank fills all the way up with water, and this is what washes your clothes. Basically, it spins all that water out, re-rinses, and then fills back up again. And then once it drains, it spins it out, and then that's when it's done. Well, with this, what I had to do is when I first started doing the fill-ups of this washer, I would take <clears throat> and let the washer fill up with the lid up like it is now uh, and let it fill up until it stops. It would click to let me know that's ready to be started. And I would count the amount of holes in the side from the top down. As you see, I've got a wooden dowel rod right here right now. Or actually, it's a bamboo skewer. But what I've done is, since I know this washer on a medium load, that needs to be changed, will fill up to six holes from the top. So I've stuck my bamboo skewer into that hole to know where it's at. Then what I do is I take my buckets of water and I fill up until it comes just under that. Because if you overfill it, then the washer will start to drain itself because uh, it thinks it's filled up. And it's a safety precaution to make sure that it doesn't overflow and flood your laundry room. So, I take this dowel rod, or I keep calling it a dowel rod. <laughs> so I take this bamboo skewer, stick it in the hole that I need to put it at, which on this washer, a large load is just up under the rim. A medium load is six holes down. And <clears throat> a large or small load will be 13 holes down. Now, I have a list here somewhere of all that, so I can keep track of it, but I do that so that as I come up to that mark, I can hit the start button, which is right here, and it'll automatically start filling itself up, and then I can pour as much water as I need to into it, and it won't overflow because it's already started. That's the way I get around having it fill up and then try to empty it because it's overfilled. But anyway, I kind of wanted to explain that because I know I've done laundry videos on how I do rainwater, but never really actually explained how I fill this washer up. Now, you will have different washers with different settings and different methods, so you will have to play around with your washer if you want to try this, but I suggest turning your washer on first on whatever cycle you're going to put it on. So say, for instance, right now I've got it on regular. Um, leave your lid up and wash it fill up and see where it fills up to. And like I said, I go based off of where the water line is on there. You could do it a little more fancy. You could get something to etch the side or put something to mark the side so you know where your water fills up to. But I figured this is just easier. I can take it out. It doesn't do anything to the inside of the washer. And uh, it's just a good way for me to keep track of where my water line is. Okay, and as I said, I'm going to try and demonstrate for you here. I've got my water. I don't know if you can see down in there. As you see here, I've added my soap to it, and I'm letting the water mix it all together. That's how uh, I get it all incorporated. I throw it here in my bucket. So the way our new system works, we've moved it from that end of the house down to this end of the house. But same idea, it comes down this white pipe, goes into this first barrel, which up there I've got a screen over the top of the hole to kind of screen out the big and somewhat smaller pieces, but it still allows some dirt in there. I'll have to come up with a better idea of filtration, but as of right now, as you can see, the water's coming out pretty clean. But 
my plan is I've seen that black stuff that they put into the gutter uh, to help keep stuff out of there, but it still allow water. I think that would help filter a lot of that out. That's my next goal. Anyway, back to this. So, it goes into this first barrel. It's connected down here at the bottom with these fittings. I'm going to turn my water off so it can overflow. Which I've siliconed around so it doesn't leak. And mind you, this was all pieces we had laying around, so we made whatever we had work. You could really buy it and really do it up, but being that we were doing it, trying to do it cheaply, this is how we did it. We did buy this part, which is just a normal hose adapter. We bought those two fittings back there, but all the PVC piping I've got was here already. And we just made do with it. As you can see, this just sits on here. I did have to buy that fittings. I didn't have one for that. And I didn't want mosquitoes or anything else to get in there. And the barrel here came with this one. And that one came off of this one. I've switched them around because these seal better down in that hole compared to this one. And I was allowing water to come up through there and leak out so it would only get about right here, I would say, because this one would fill up. And then the excess water pushing from here would push down push through there, come up and cause it to flow out of these since it wasn't airtight, or watertight I should say, not air. So I've swapped them around to see how that does, and I guess we'll figure out when it rains Sunday, and I will have to give you an update on how that does. So the weather's been calling for rain this coming Sunday, which is tomorrow. And uh, it's supposed to be a 60% chance, so I'm taking advantage of our rain barrels because right now they're pretty full. And instead of the rainwater coming down and overfilling them, I want to use up what I can. Just fill them up there. I'll try seeing if I can get the caps off and show you down the side of it and see how much there is in there. So I've got a flashlight down in there so you can kind of see where the water level is. Focus there. But yeah, if you look, there's a line down there, which is like a band around this barrel that sticks out. Just a little bit below that. And I've kind of stuck my hand up to the side of it for the shadow to see where the water line is. So I'll show you about where that's at. So looking outside the barrel, the water line is actually about right in here. From what I'm seeing all the way around. Which means that one's going to be a little lower because it does sit up higher, so I can make sure and get more out of that one. Because this one pushes more water into this one. As you can see, my bucket's almost full with all my soap. And I'm getting ready to go pour it into the washer. There we go. You're recording. Get up in there so you can see. Yep, see how it stopped? So once it reaches that level, it'll stop like that. I take my little measuring stick out, shut it, and just hit start. And that's how I filled up with buckets of water. So now I'll add my soap and my whatever I've got, besides bleach, bleach I put straight into the washer where I'm supposed to, but I take my laundry detergent and my fabric softener, and that's what I mix together in my water before I put it in, so it's all good and combined before I do it. So, anyway, that's how I do laundry with buckets.